Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Draw With Me Kids. We're gonna do, uh, what is that? Fire truck? Fire truck! <laughs> We're going to do a fire truck today. Uh, using some basic shapes like rectangles and squares and then we also got another question about how you can do fire uh, when you're doing different drawings so we're going to teach you a couple of techniques about that using some basic science facts about fire we well, made our... some trivia today yep we also have our trivia and i have a bonus question from trivia oh i like bonus questions i don't know if i know your bonus question do you have your trivia in front of you Dun, dun, dun. I don't think we printed it out. <laughs> That's okay. You can use Clara. Clara's right there. Okay. So while I switch us over, get your pencils, Hold on. pencils, papers, and erasers ready. And we're going to get ready to show you the collection. So if you guys joined us last week, here are some of the amazing pictures that we got. Oops. It's okay. You can't put the fan on. Why? Because it's too noisy. <laughs> Too noisy. Our friends won't be able to hear us. Okay, so here we have Emily's pictures, and as always, Emily, you just are epic. You got so many different avatar characters here that you sent in. You got five on this page, and don't worry. Uh, no, we don't want to see any changes. We like it just the way it is. Thank you very much. And then another five. So you did ten pictures last week. Well, that's awesome, Emily. Way to go. I think I think I like Word Banana of the Fruit Gods. It's one of my favorites. Just saying. This is the one that I did before I started the uh, the session, just for something okay. to show you guys. Can I click print now? Yeah, click print. Why not? It's going to be super noisy, but click print. And you can print it out while I'm talking about Roblu. Don't pronounce the X. The X is silent. This is Roblu. Sophia's sassy stay away gal. What she did with the turn out of your sword. This is the one I did while you guys were watching and participating. It's uh, my crazy purple lady. Good hey, question, speaking of fire eyes. trucks, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. It's definitely either a blue siren or a fire truck. Did you know that fire trucks have different sirens than the rest of them? you can tell the difference about what is coming up behind you if you are driving a car. Hmm. It's true. Don't they have the honk honk? They do. When they're coming through uh, an intersection, they'll honk very loudly so you can hear them coming. So, for fire trucks, wow, well, it's very bright all of a sudden. Are you ready? All right. For I'm fire doing, trucks, um, my fire truck is going to be part of a big picture. Okay, so make sure if you're going to make it a bigger picture that you space out your your artwork on the page. Um, I'm going to do a fire truck going towards the fire, and then I'm going to do another picture Yeah, I'm doing later. them. I'm going to do something. So if you're doing a fire truck, kind of like we did other vehicles, we always start out with a... You can hear the rain now in the background because we've got the window open. It's a beautiful breeze coming in so if it gets too loud let us know in the comments if you can't hear us very well um and we'll change that up just like i think that that you should turn the fan off that's okay all right so what i'm going to do here is start off with very shaky if you have a ruler this might make it easier um, box. What's or the ruler that we had? I don't know where the ruler is gone that we have. Square ruler. If you don't have a ruler, do you have something like this? You can use this as a ruler. You can use a side of a book, a side of an envelope, a Kleenex box. <laughs> Whatever has a straight side, you can use that too. It's kind of hard for me to use that a ruler on my screen though. It's literally, I'm going to tilt this up, this is literally what I'm drawing on, guys. So after you get your 
rectangle. You can make it a little skinnier if you want to. You can make it taller. Long. It just depends on what kind of truck you want to build. You then build the cab. Um, I could might have to close the window anyway. There's droplets on money. the table, and I'm worried about the light. Okay. Yeah. How do you close this thing? It's a crank. <laughs> that could be said about me too. <laughs> I can't reach it. One moment, please. You can add to it uh, a square. You can use your. I didn't leave enough room for my uh, for my fire, but that's okay. I want to make sure you guys can see it nice and big on the screen. Because you're on it. You're on digital. Right? You can shrink it. I can shrink it. Yeah, I can shrink it later. Sometimes what I do if I'm trying to plan a bigger piece and I'm not working digitally, I do a very light, quick sketch. But since you guys are probably following step by step, that might not be as easy to do. So once you have these two basic shapes, square and a rectangle together, you can start adding the pieces that make this the fire truck. This is going to be a really simple fire truck. Okay? I want to make sure everybody of all ages can make this fire truck. I don't really care if it's too simple because I just like having a fire truck. Well, and the best part about it is what you guys can do, because I know you guys are amazing artists out there, you can add to it, you can put your own imagination to it, turn it into anything that you want. I've seen some really cool stuff over the last 21 weeks from you guys, so don't be afraid to add what you need to add. I've how you have the worksheet. Sure, I have like the that. worksheet because I cannot for the life of me think of what a fire truck looks like unless I have something in front of me. And I thought I'd just use the one that I had made for everybody to follow if they don't see the video. So just so you know, even I follow worksheets. So I do another rectangle just above the front wheel. And this is the windows of the cab of your fire truck. This is going to be a side view, in case you're wondering. We can show you a little bit about how you turn this around and make it a front view. If you'd like later. I just saw a or a bug fly past the window. <laughs> Part of having an open window challenge, or just having a blind up, usually we have it closed, is that somebody might get distracted while they're working. <laughs> um. I put can a I start my trivia? You sure can. I put a semicircle for the headlight. You could also do something like that for the headlight if you want to keep everything very angular. Like when, maybe I'm gonna do when something were fire fighting devices first created besides tossing water from water buckets? Fire fighting devices, when were they created? Not tossing water from buckets. A. 1743. B. 1840. C. Uh, 2 BCE, before Common Era, and D, and D is 2 CE, Common Era. Hmm. I was going to straighten this out because I kind of want to... Step there so it's not the camera. Now let me just make sure I can see you guys in your comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, the first firefighting device. I'll give you guys a hint. It wasn't like a fire truck, but it was a device that could take a hose from the water and pump water onto a building or something. So, or help the fire go out. So those numbers were 1743, 1840, 2 BCE, before Common Era, and two, two, C C E common era. Well, technically, 1743 is common era as well. Yeah. That's pretty early. It's like what? More than two thousand years ago, having a hand pump to pump. I don't know. That seems like a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'd pick. What would you pick if you didn't know the answer? Well, I didn't know the answer. That's a hard question because you do know the answer. I probably picked B, yeah. 1840. 1840. Hmm. 
But that's you saying if I didn't know the answer. So maybe it's not 1840. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess 1743. And guess 1743. So our next step on our awesome truck, and if you've embraced the wheels on the truck there so you can see them, you've got a little circle on the inside, so the axle of the truck. You can add what's called a running board, so it's sort of like a frame on the bottom of your truck. I remember that doing that in the truck that, um, that me and uh, Jamie made for our movie that we're making in Minecraft. Oh yeah, doing a running board? Yeah. It's so that you can stand on it if you're a firefighter. I'm just going to put my light up a little higher there. So it's a little platform you can walk on. And uh, something, truck? since I'm making my truck um, a ladder and a hose, a ladder and a pump truck, I'm going to put a ladder on it on the back. You can decide what equipment this truck has. Maybe it's just a, a pump truck, in which case it would have a big long hose and lots of uh, attachments and panels on it. But with my ladder truck, one of the ways I do it is just to draw two parallel lines. Parallel means that they face each other. They look like each other, except one's on top of the other or beside the other. And they never cross. Yeah. They'll attach somewhere together down here, but the main lines, these two lines, never cross. Parallel. This is you don't learn anything but drawing on here. And then I put a little triangle top on it. I put a little circle top. You, got, you could definitely do that. You could put a circle top instead. I'm going to go in for very angular today, which means straight lines. Not a lot of curves to it. So in the ladder, you can do it two ways, okay? You can do it like this, just to add the ladder pieces if you're doing a straight up ladder. Or you can do it my favorite way, because sometimes the ladders are folded over on each other. So I like to show that by crisscrossing, kind of doing a whole bunch of letter V's together, attached together and make it all the way up. Do we have any answers for our trivia? We don't have any. Uh, uh, ha, ha, maybe it's literally a fire truck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my trivia page fell off. Oh, oh no, trivia has gone missing again. Trivia. Page. Sorry guys, let me push my camera. I got your camera, I'm holding it steady, <laughs> as steady as I can. So we don't have any guesses on the first fire device used besides buckets when that was 1743 a 1743 b 1840 c 2 common era before common era sorry and d 2 common era um b uh d c if you don't know how to spell before common era you could just say b c e yeah. and for common era c e that's what we have on paper. So once you get all these parts into your fire truck, you can just sort of start adding details. You can turn this fire truck into an animal kind of fire truck. You could put eyes on your fire truck. I'm gonna make you a house. You could add somebody in the fire truck, driving the fire truck, and having their helmets on. I'm putting a helmet on this guy. I'm putting a helmet on this gal. I'm putting the guys and gals. All ready to go with fire. Yeah, you could put a hose on. I use. A, I'm just doing a hose that's an S shape. Like so, you could do a hose like this. Looks like it's all coiled up. You could do that as a hose. We have a guess of A. 1743, that's what I'm guessing, too. I'm guessing B. You're guessing B, 1843. If I didn't know the well, answer. she knows the answer, though. I think she's trying to throw us off of 1840. Are you ready so for the answer? There's a couple ways you can add, which can look like other parts of different other creatures or whatever. So if you want to get really super creative, you can sort of change up what's going on. I'm putting some pumps connections in here. 
Have you ever seen that they have the hose they have to connect to the fire hydrant and then they have put into the big machine so it can pump? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some buttons on there. I'm going to, I'm going to call this the uh, Draw With Me Fire Department, FD, because I'm clever like that. You can add a title of where it's going, what city it belongs to, and you can color your fire truck. Usually, what do you think fire truck colors are? I guess we want the answer before I tell you that. But the answer of the trivia question is. She's adding her detail. The quiz master is adding her detail. Okay, the answer is. The hand pump, the first firefighting device used besides salt and water from buckets, was created in 2 BCE before Common Era in Alexander the Great's city, Alexandria. So way back in Egypt, in just before the turn of the century, I guess the turn of the century, before the Common Era, we used to say um, uh, before Christ and after death, but we now say before Common Era, in Common Era to market, we had hand pumps, which were devices used to grab water from a source and spray it out, which is kind of cool. The other, other dates actually have a significant meaning to them. 1743 was the first ever fire truck that was made, and it was uh, something that was pulled by horses or by animals and was actually literally a big tub with a hand pump attached to the top of it, which was bigger, obviously. You couldn't carry it on your back. It was actually called a, what was it called, a tubby? It was called a tubby because it was just a big tub and people poured the water into the tub and somebody else would fire it off. In 1840 was when the first steam uh, powered fire truck was invented. So we have other reasons. The 2E, CE was just to throw you guys off. <laughs> I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. I got my fire truck. And fire trucks can, uh, like we have in Ottawa, which is where we're from, we have fire trucks that are red. We have fire trucks in some areas of the city that are yellow. That's because once upon a time, Ottawa was split up into six different cities, five different cities. Anyway, Nepean, which was one of those cities, and I think they've changed over now to be a common look to everybody else. But back in the beginning, they had yellow colored trucks for their fire department, which is kind of cool. And some places, um, there's uh, one place in the States you have white colored trucks because back in the day when they first got a fire department, they couldn't afford to paint the truck. So they made it. They kept them white. This is the base primer color. Okay, so this is my really simple line fire truck. I need to have, decorate it in other ways. I have a trivia one. question for all of you. Oh, no, another trivia question. What is the hottest part of the fire? A, it's the a red, segue. B, the orange, C, the yellow, or D, the blue. What is the hottest part of the fire? A, the red part, B, the orange part, C, the yellow part, or D, the blue part, because I kind of talked over you a bit there. Sorry about that, Sophia. That's a good segue, because we're going to talk a little bit about fire and how to try it, because these guys are rushing off. Uh -huh. Do you want a color? Okay, you can do some color. I'll do some color. How's that? Let's color, and we'll figure out this trivia question first. I'm going to use, because I'm not feeling different, I'm going to use some chalks. Making a cloud. It looks like it's a cloud fire truck. Yeah. Okay, I'm just having fun now. I'm gonna make my fire truck red because that's what I think of. I actually have a crayon, and I don't know if you guys have them in the Crayola boxes if you've got crayons, but I have a crayon called Fire Engine of Red, which is my favorite. So yeah, we've got somebody who I think knows her science. 
says blue is the answer to your question. Ms. Rainbows. Blue is the hard, hottest part. <clears throat> of the fire. Answer. Some of you are going to be very surprised. The blue is the hottest part of the fire because it has the most energy of all of the colors. Yep, it's true. Are we ready for the bonus question? Bonus bum, question. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm ready for the bonus question. Hit me with it. Uh, what is Ooh, the? What are the two main causes of wildfires? The two main causes of wildfires. What do you think causes wildfire? Forest fires, that kind of stuff. Two leading causes. My fire truck is going to be the Okay. It's an ocean fire truck. It's an ocean fire truck. A blue ocean fire truck. I can always find that question for the trivia quote, that one that you did there about the hottest part of a flame in that blue. It's funny because in art terms, we always refer to the colors as cool colors and warm colors, and red is considered as like hot as you can get, warm as you can get, and blue is as cool as you can get. So I always find that funny, because in reality, something that is blue in, uh, and on fire is usually the hottest, like blue stars are burning the hottest. I learned that at the planetarium. You did learn that at the planetarium. Oh, this is the funniest little set of guys I got here. And I'm going to do blue and white on the top, even though there's probably going to be red. Mommy, how do you like my fire trucks? Can I see your fire trucks? Oh wow, this is a really cool long fire truck. And I like the hose looks like it's uh, something different. It's got its, it's leaking water. It's leaking water. It's got its nozzle on there. So yeah, that's why I think Sophia was sort of uh, droughts and human activity. Mm. <laughs> I think someone might be on the right track here. Droughts and human activity. I'm gonna make this great. I don't I feel like my chalky choice was not the best choice. It will be better choice for what I'm drawing next. Mm -hmm. This is when we get into the fire part, which will be fun. Drugs and human activity, I, I'm going to say, is a very, very good guess. Human activity accounts for 86% of all wildfires that are started. The cause and of all wildfires. The other ca main cause is lightning striking trees. Yep, lightning strikes is the other big cause. Although part of it, I guess you could say that drought is an accurate guess because uh, things are drier. Uh, trees are drier and we are more likely to um, take light, a satellite, if uh, lightning strikes it. But human activity, careless campers leaving their, not putting their fires out correctly or put, having a fire when they shouldn't be in during dry season. Again, drought has a part to play in that too. Mm. And sometimes the, the wind can, causes. some of the wind uh, and sparks can uh, can light grass and leaves on fire, yep. which uh, sadly the rest of the whole forest is flammable, usually, which will light the rest of the forest on fire. And my fire truck, it's a very simple fire truck. That's so, my bonus question. That was a great bonus question. We have very short trivia today. It's because I didn't get to finish it. Someone was uh, otherwise occupied. Tired. 
but she did a good job, right? Way to go, Sophia, Miss Rainbows, for doing some trivia for us again today. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you like my super colorful fire truck? I like your super colorful fire truck. You want to show it off to me? <laughs> I have to cover up the title because this is going to be a little surprise. Oh, I'm not going to look at this title. Oh, so cool. So, if you guys want to learn how to draw fire, one of the things that you got to know about fire itself is uh, how fire works. Um, on Earth, because we have gravity uh, and we have oxygen. Oh, that gives me a question for another for another uh, trivia. trivia. Well, I'm going to give away the answer here, but I'm talking about the con construct of fire. This is... Maybe I will. Okay, I'll let you answer, ask the question after I explain how fire works on Earth. Okay. All right. So, we've got another one, because we actually did a little bit of research on fire and flame. But fire it, on Earth uh, is fueled by oxygen, and uh, we have gravity, which helps. So, And we have a little thing called convection. Convection is when hot air rises, um, it draws cold air to the bottom. So you sort of constantly have this flow of air like that. It sort of looks very weird on my camera, I'm sure. But it helps to form the shape of the flame, which is like so doing basically the flame on Earth does what's on the screen, but like this. Are you, are you doing a flame? I kind of like this. We're getting interaction here. Yeah, so. I'm making oh, everybody no. laugh. I'm sorry, making you laugh. That was my, that was my little demonstration fire starter there. It's pretty lit, right? I know. It was Everybody already used. I can't use lit. It was already used by Emily. Look at that. Look at this, uh. What's happening? Okay, my mom's. Uh, oh, she's being my fire behind me. So it always goes up. You sort of always have this little pointy tip part and a, a base that sort of continues to move everything up like that. So when you're drawing fire in a picture and you want to make it look convincing, you've got to think about um, gravity and where it's getting its source, where it's getting its fuel source. So mm -hmm. in, in the fact that it's sort of multiple flames can stick together and make a bigger picture. So always think about shape. You can have a couple of those. Usually this is how you can do fire and it's very sort of convincing. It's like taking a teardrop and making a little bit like really basic for some of my really early it's just a whole bunch of mountaintop zigzags. Like that? That's a pretty cool fire flame. That's a pretty cool stylistic fire flame, but you always want to make sure, just like in Sophia's one, the ends are sort of curving up. So for my really early artists, you can start off with triangles, and then you can sort of looking like a mountain, you can start adding some softer details to them where you're curving those lines instead. And if you're doing a dragon, which I love to do, breathing fire, you're going to have a bit of gravity working on that dragon's flame, but not as much because you're going to have another force against it. You're going to have, for a dragon's breath, because somebody said having a dragon set something on fire and having a firefighter uh, so if you have a dragon breathing fire out of their mouth, I'm just going to do a triangle mouth. I'm not going to draw the whole dragon yet. It's going to come out this way, but you're going to have some of that fire kind of trying to get up further away from the dragon's mouth it is. But the dragon is the source of fuel. So the dragon's breath is the source of fuel. So you're going to have it spread from the source of fuel out. Some of those flames are going to go up, but some of them are going to be trying to branch out from the source of fuel. So that's kind of an easy way. It looks a bit, a little bit like how I draw fur sometimes too. 
dragon mouth. Not my best dragon in the world, but it's my dragon. So he started doing his ah, breathing out the fire. Fire also has several layers in it, so if you really want to just do a pencil drawing without coloring it, having a second layer on the inside to show, as we discussed with our trivia question, the different red, orange, yellow, and blue that you can see in a flame, you can do that. <laughs> but what I would... This is so cool! That you're blowing air up your dress? Yes! It flaps up really cool. <laughs> so if you want to draw just a line art picture of fire, don't get carried away with drawing uh, red, orange, yellow, and blue, because it starts to look a little bit weird. You can if you want to, but if you're just using black and white lines, like a pencil or an ink page, it's sort of better to give the impression of those other pieces. If you're doing something with just marker to create fire, I very, very rarely use red. I use a lot of orange in fire. So if I was to do a fire, I find something light and I do the edges orange fill in some of those oranges with some yellows, mm -hmm. and I choose more orange and yellow, mm -hmm. then I would actually add maybe a touch in the center of the blue. But that's only if you really want to indicate the source and how hot that, that fur is. My, I'm making... Visually, I'm, I made a dragon in my picture. Look. You made a dragon in your picture? Yeah. I can't wait to see what that means for the picture. See, it looks almost more realistic if you don't have that blue there. Not realistic, but it looks more like fire if you don't have the blue there. Mm -hmm. So that's just mm -hmm. a few ideas about, about fire. Is to remember the direction that it would be traveling because of uh, like maybe it's windy, so the flames are going to go a little bit more like that. Good. That's why it's usually when you see a picture or somebody's drawing fire, it's usually very uh, similar in shape a lot of the times because fire does move. You had a log in there or a house under there. If you had something like that, it might shape around the shape mm -hmm. that you had. Mm -hmm. So that I is my dragon. Uh, you can do something nice with uh, with it. You can make it a campfire. Whoa! Look at that dude. It's a dragon and it's breathing fire. So I was going to do, that's a pretty simple lesson today, isn't it? I'm still coloring. Oh yeah, we're going to still keep going. I'm going to draw one of my favorite things, and I'm going to draw a fire, and you guys can watch me draw my thing and ask questions as we go about why I'm doing certain choices or what I'm doing. And I'll sort of do it in the way that I would normally do it, which is a little different than what I do with Draw With Me Kids. I like to have something where I just sort of do a layer of practice sketch, get my shapes. We only took half an hour to do that. I know, we only took half an hour, 30 minutes, can you believe it? I, I wanted to make sure we use some really simple shapes and help out some of the friends, especially the friend that asked uh, how to do fire trucks because um, I know that they're six, so being six and doing a tough fire truck would not be a lot of fun. So I wanted to make sure we did one that was easier.
So I'm sort of trying to choose. For my, I'm going to do a dragon with fire. Uh, too. I like that. I have a question for something that I like to draw too. Okay, what's your I'm question? Draw a firefighter. A firefighter. Well, what you got to do is remember your lessons on drawing a figure, drawing a person. Do you remember those lessons? Yeah. So you start off with your body shape. A kidney bean. Kidney bean. If you want to do something that's a cute, more cutesy, cartoony. If you're doing something that's a little bit more um, realistic. I'm going to take a kidney bean shape. Kidney bean is a good shape to start with. Because the hips, when you're drawing a hip, is usually a half curve. And when you're drawing the top, it's this shape. And that's how, if you put them together, you get a kidney bean. Then my kidney bean. And then the circle for the head. Then I need, need to give arms. I'm going to do a cute cutie. I, mean, I don't know why I'm feeling kind of cute so cute. Mm -hmm. Usually I am very draw with these things, aren't I? Oh, yeah, it's a big triceratops bro. I love your dragon. You're cute. Cute dragon? It reminds me of baby triceratops. It's a little bit like baby triceratops, isn't it? Yeah. So whenever I'm drawing something, I try to think of the shapes and I, I start out with a sketch of approximately what I'm doing. And it's going to be a dragon like this, I just sort of keep playing with the bigger shapes and then I try to figure out, okay, well, the detail is going to go in here where it's going to be another horn, frill on it, the frill, probably going to be an eye ridge in here, in addition to this eye ridge, teeth, this guy doesn't quite look like he's looking in the right direction. I want to be sort of super angry ridge. So this is the kind of things that I do when I'm thinking about the picture. I start to mm -hmm. start out with the shapes and sort of work with what other things are going to be and I want to do. trying to curve all of the tips upward. So your trivia question, can I guess what it was? Your mm -hmm. trivia question was going to be if we need oxygen and gravity to make a normal flame, uh, if, uh, what, what does it does look it, like in What does a flame look like in space? In space. What would a flame look like in space? <laughs> would it be the same? <laughs> would it be that we can't light fire in space? Even if we had a good source, like a fuel source. What do you think? What do you guys think?
probably the first question in a very long time that is free choice. It's true, you don't have any multiple choices. We're sort of making that one up on the spot from what we've learned. Mm -hmm. I did get no multiple choice. What? Sort of. I guess we're looking for the shape, but well, so maybe it doesn't light at all. Could also be an answer. What happened? Space fire. I mean, we often see explosions and stuff in movies about explosions happening in space. Realistic or just fantasy? That's a good question. Really? Probably seen the other before right there. Wow, that's gonna be really loud on our camera for our friends, dude. I know. So what are you what are you doing for your firefighter? How's your firefighter going? I'm making. I'm not allowed to look. She just covered it up. So how are your pictures going, everybody? What kind of characters and creatures are we creating today with fire? I'm gonna do this. Oops, not back to this. curious about what fire would look like in microgravity. The answer to the question is... Instead of lighting up, because there's nothing to push the hot air up, it becomes a bubble of fire and then shortly after flickers out. Oh, uh, yeah. I think my drawing is looking pretty hot. Pretty that's gonna burn. Oh. I think YouTube started is the funniest thing in my day. I'm not sure I've got too many fire puns. That haven't already been used anyway. <laughs> you guys. I can tell you, when I have done face painting in the past, it was fire or doing flame on somebody's face is probably one of the hardest, um, hardest things I've done. I'd start adding little dots to give the impression of the scales. I've gone 
from a cute too. I don't know what I've got to here with this dragon. <laughs> well, I don't know about being on fire with some puns. You guys are on fire with your puns. I can't hold a candle to you. You guys are just funny. All around. I have to pass the torch on to the real punster. She's not talking to me. She's not talking to me. Miss Rainbow's over there. It's just... I, I heard, Where's my noise? I heard her <laughs> eyes roll. <laughs> I heard her eyes roll. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> saturated with this. But I'm enjoying it. What do you call a famous fire? What do you call a famous fire? I don't know. It's flamous. <laughs> <laughs> it's flamous. Or is it infamous? No, it would be flamous. Really? It's a good thing you're my kid. <laughs> Not true. I love fun. I love all kinds of funs. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them yeah, punning. Punnin'. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bianca? Bianca. Oh, I like her plain outfit. She's this is Spiray. It's my fire spirit. Oh, wow. I like your fire spirit. And I made it a scene. Oh, uh, dragon's fire disaster. Dra dragon's fire disaster. Oh, no. From the movie. It's from the movie made Dragon. Oh, dragon's fire disaster. Dragoon. She's making a movie in Minecraft at the moment. With a friend working on uh, making sets. It's pretty cool. Do you guys have some projects you've been working on all summer or we're starting to work on in the summer that you uh, are super happy about? I'm pretty impressed with them. Um, and some of the crazy cool builds I've been seeing in Minecraft lately. Miss Rainbows and her crew have been having some fun. And really, when you're doing your own comic book or your own movie, your own script and stuff, sometimes just doing it is helpful. Because you learn all kinds of stuff along the way. So if you worry about doing it perfect the first time, then you're less likely to get out the gate. So I'm really proud of people, all of you guys doing these projects this year of working on uh, of working on your art with me and doing your own activities. That's amazing. So one of the things I was going to say about uh, light lighting and sources and stuff I've got two sources I've got one that's coming from up here but I have fire right here that's going to be a, a source that I have to keep in mm -hmm. mind and fire usually has a warm 
Oh, I could use orange. I think I'm going to use orange in here. Oh, I also have it on multiply it. You know what, what with these pens, uh, a good color I find for fire is? It's a good color you find for fire on the chameleon pens. The one right here that I'm using uh, is the one I find is good, and it's uh, BR3 Cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Auto focus. Pull it a little bit. Sometimes it works. It might be trying to tend to focus on your artwork. So what are your characters, Emily? What kind of characters do you have going on with your comic? Are they uh, dragon, undead, undescribable? <laughs> Which I wouldn't doubt because you've got a very good imagination. A little tip uh, if you need extra creativity because you don't have a good idea and you still want to think about a good one. I watched this on Brainchild. Watch my eyes, everybody. I'm doing it too. And he gets a super boost of creativity. I don't know if you're a super boost of busy. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a super boost of creativity. I get a super boost of creativity just hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Doing artwork and doing an art jam together. Next week we're going to do a bit of a creativity a a exercise, which is going to be helpful. And I get to show you all my creativity on the digital device. Yeah. We're going to have our guest star on the digital device. I'm not a guest star. Well, no, you are the star. <coughs> Let's face it, you are the star. You're the reason, well, you're the reason, and you're the reason that I'm still uh, out here doing this regularly for you guys. So, again, before everybody forgets, we did some cool fire trucks. Learned a little bit about fire and how it moves in relation to its fuel source. Like as in this guy, he's breathing out and whatever gives the dragon its spark, the little fire, that's where its fuel source is. I'll tell you a bit of the story while I'm finishing my dragon here. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys that this is Jigun. This is the villain uh, that I play in uh, our movie that we're making in Minecraft. Um, and uh, in this picture, uh, the firefighters are going to put out the fire. Don't worry guys, because this has a happy ending. They managed to put out the fire. And this is uh, the castle on fire. And, um, and uh, the firefighters are going to put it out. Dragon's fire disaster. Fever. Just make a little tiny kind of bit of orangey red around her. Cause she's a fire spirit. And she's made of fire. And this is Bianca. She's a firefighter and she loves pink and red. <laughs> cool. Alright, well I have a little tiny background for my dragon. I might continue working on that a little bit later. I want to get... That's 
Okay, we'll get it. That eats up paper. It eats paper, everybody. What eats paper? That side of the desk eats paper. I'm going to give you us here. Come on over, Sophia. Miss Rainbows. Look at her. This is dedication <laughs> to your artwork. She's still working. So we want to thank you guys for joining us again this week. And we'll be back next week with some shapes uh, that we're going to let you guys use your creative brains to come up with whatever they're going to be. And it's a great creative exercise to sort of just let your mind open up and put whatever ideas you have uh, out on the page. And then um, the week after, we might be taking all of the elements we've learned from whales to fire trucks okay. into making, and, and different shapes into making um, a big piece together. So that is what I've got planned for the month of August. And then we'll be into September. And who knows what we're going to do for next, for September. September. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Gosh, we've got to put a warning on that. So, <laughs> thank you very much again for joining us. And it's Ms. Rainbows. And me, Christina, from Sam I Ann Art, saying goodbye. And stay creative. <laughs> I'm getting tickled. See you Bye. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. <clears throat> See you later.